Troops have grown in numbers while the space remains the same, leading to conflict between humans at vineyards and suburbs as the primates swing from trees to surrounding properties. The city of Cape Town says communities are not educated enough about baboon proofing their properties because now humans and wild animals have to coexist. What we've done recently was a survey where we've asked residents who could be affected, are they aware of what a baboon-proof property should look like? And not all of them are aware in terms of you know, putting out your feed for your, for your pets at home uh, or how you dispose of your, minimize your waste. The bin itself, um, should it, do you have a baboon-proof bin? Uh, infrastructure, you know, the burglar bars, do you put burglar bars in your windows? Uh, it's not easily opened or there's no passage through for the baboons. The city has since 2009 been running the urban baboon program, characterized by the highly criticized method of shooting with paintball at the animals that come closer to private properties. What has changed recently was where we were issued a directive from the National Council of SPCA where they've asked us to stop using paintball markers as a aversion tacti- a technique um, and as a result the baboons have been roaming around a lot more the last year or two in, in our urban areas. Shooting them with paintball markers isn't going to stop them coming in to get that easy food and the problem with shooting with paintball markers is that a lot of baboons unnecessarily get hurt. So, so, for example, we sometimes see um, the mother baboons carrying their infants getting hurt. And, and, and what we are trying to say is that until you've sorted out the waste management issues, hurting the baboons and, and trying to chase them away with aversion tactics isn't going to work. The city's portfolio committee on spatial development in its last meeting has decided on broader consultation. A public participation process is planned until July this year. Tandiswa Mau, SAPC, Cape Town.